Good day, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about vectors. We have two vectors, and we want to find out the characteristic so that they're either orthogonal or panel, parallel. So let me share my screen with you. Says, determine the scalar C. Maybe I can reduce it a little bit. Maybe I can read it, yeah. Determine the scalar C so that the vectors V and W are A, orthogonal, and B, parallel. I'll make it a little bigger. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's like more. Okay, so V is given by... The quantities 2 and 3, W by 3 and 6. So, we will use the definition of the cosine of the angle between the two vectors. So, solution. Let theta be the angle. between the two vectors. By definition, cosine of theta is equal to V dot, maybe I should write it carefully, V dot product of V and W divided by magnitude of V and magnitude of W. Okay. Now, if two vectors are orthogonal, are orthogonal, then theta is equal to pi by 2. They are perpendicular to each other. Now, cosine of pi by 2 is 0. So, cosine pi by 2 is equal to 0 is equal to V dot W divided by magnitude of V times magnitude of W. Okay, so move this a little bit up. Multiply both sides of the equal to sign sign by magnitude of V times magnitude of W. So, you have magnitude of V times magnitude of W times 0 is equal to V dot product W multiplied by magnitude of, um, divided by magnitude of V, magnitude of W, and then we have multiplied by magnitude of V times magnitude of W. So, this and this will cancel. And we know the left-hand side of the equal to sign is 0 because anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So 0 So zero is equal to V dot W. Now V dot W. So remember V, vector V is given to us as, if I move it a little bit, uh, up vector v is um, 3 2 3 and the other one is 3 and c so it's 2 3 and 3 and c so vector v is 2 3 and vector w is 3 and c
So I move this a little bit up. So v dot w dot product of v and w is equal to two times three plus three times c and that is equal to zero so two times three is six plus three c equal to zero subtract six on both sides so three c is equal to minus six then we'll divide by three on both sides so now what do we get we get the value of c is equal to minus 2. So that is the required value of c for the two ve vectors to be orthogonal. So that the angle between the two vectors is pi by 2 or 90 degree. So c is minus 2. That's the answer for part A. Okay. Now we will create some space by reducing this a little bit and moving this up and do uh, and do part B. Okay, so in part B, part B vectors B and W are parallel okay so that means angle theta is equal to zero and we know cosine of zero is equal to one so Cosine of 0 is equal to V times W divided by magnitude of vector V and magnitude of vector W. Okay. So, <laughs> let's find the magnitudes. So, magnitude. So, remember vector V is 2. Let me make sure. Let me move this up a little bit. Yeah, 2, 3, and 3c, three, right? So, vector v is 2. Oops. Yes. This, this, this. So, I will do this a little bit. So, vector v is 2, 3. Hence, magnitude of v will be square root of 2 square plus 3 square, which is equal to square root of 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9. So square root of 13. Okay. And W vector is given by 3C. So magnitude of W is equal to square root of 3 square plus C square is equal to square root of 9 plus c square. Okay. And we have already done v dot w, but I will repeat it again. So v dot product with w is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 plus 3 multiplied by c, which is v dot product with w is 6 plus 3c. So Let's move this a little bit up. Create some space. Some more space maybe. Okay. So, cosine of 0, which is equal to 1, is equal to 6 plus 3c divided by square root of 13 times square root of 9 plus c square. Okay. So, we multiply, so multiply both sides by multiply both sides by square root of 13 times square root of 9 plus c square. Okay. 
So we will get one times square root of 13 times square root of nine plus C square, one multiplied by so dot is equal to six plus three C divided by square root of 13 divided by square root of nine plus C square. And I also multiplied both sides by square root of 13 times square root of nine plus C square. So this term cancels with this term and this term cancels with this term. So now on the left hand side, I have equal to square root of 13 times square root of nine plus C square is equal to six plus three C. Okay, now we will square on both sides, square on both sides. So squaring on both sides, squaring on both sides, we get square root of 13 times square root of nine plus C squared, whole thing is squared, is equal to six plus three C squared. Or since I'm squaring with the square root, when I square the square roots go away, is 13 times nine plus C squared is equal to six plus three C, times six plus three C. Okay, and moving this a little bit up. So let me move this a little bit up. Now I'll distribute the 13 to nine and C square on the left hand side. So 13 times three is nine, three is a 27, nine ones are nine plus two is 117 plus 13 C square is equal to six times six is 36. Then outside term six plus three is 18 C. Then inside terms is three C times six is 18 C plus last term three times three C times three C is three square, which is nine and then C square. Okay. So let me write this carefully. 117 plus 13 C square is equal to 36 plus 36. 18 plus 18 is 36. 36 C plus 9 C square. Okay. Now I will subtract 9 C square on both sides. And minus 36 also on both sides. Okay. So. If I move this up a little bit, I get 117 minus 36 is 81, plus 13 minus 9 is 4C square is equal to 36C. Now subtract 36C on both sides, and you get 81 plus 4c square minus 36c is equal to zero. Now in all this uh, four, uh, no, not really, we do not have to take out anything common, but yeah, but uh, we can write this as 4c square minus 36c plus 81 is equal to zero. Okay, and we can write the whole thing as 4c square is nothing but 2c whole square minus 36c can be written as 2 times 2c times 9. And this is plus 9 square is equal to 0. Now, this is the formula for a square minus 2ab plus b square equal to 0. What is my a? My a is 2c. My b is 9. And a square minus 2ab plus b square is a minus b whole square. And that is equal to 0. So, that means in our case, we will have 
my a is 2c my b is 9 2c minus 9 whole square equal to 0 or 2c minus 9 itself is 0 then you add 9 on both sides okay and you get 2c equal to 9 so then divide by 2 on both sides so c is equal to 9 by 2 that is the answer for answer for part for part b so again let me try to explain what's going on here okay so we are going to utilize the definition of angle the definition of the angle between the two vectors so vectors v and w are parallel in the second case and angle let theta is the angle between them and when they're parallel the angle between them is zero we know cosine of zero is equal to one now we know the definition of cosine of uh, theta is um, v dot w in the numerator divided by magnitude of v magnitude of w now magnitude of v is 2 square plus t square under square root which is square root of 13 and magnitude of 13 is square root of 9 plus c square okay so cosine of 0 which is 1 it is 0 because the two line uh, vectors are parallel okay so 6 plus 3c is the dot product of v dot w we also did that in part a so 6 plus 3c divided by the magnitude of vector v and vector w vector v times magnitude of vector w and that is square root of 13 times square root of 9 plus c square in the denominator and 6 plus 3c in the numerator on the right hand side now we will multiply by the square root terms on the right and on the left and when we do that when we do that we get 1 times square root of 13 times square root of 9 plus c square is equal to 6 plus 3c. And then we will square on both sides to remove the square root. So we get 13 times 9 plus c square on the left hand side is equal to 6 plus 3c times 6 plus 3c. Then we will factor, um, I mean, we will foil it out on the right hand side. That is multiply the first term first, 6 times 6 is 36. Outside term is 6 times 3c is 18c. Inside term is 3c times 6 is 18c. And then the last term is 3c times 3c is 9c squared. And we'll distribute the 13 to the uh, terms inside, 13 times 9 and 13 times c squared. And then we will do algebraic manipulation to bring everything on the left-hand side to get the final equation 81 plus 4c squared minus 36c equal to 0 which we are rearranged to write 4c square minus 36c plus 81 equal to 0. Now 4c square is nothing but 2c square and 36c can be written as minus 2 times 2c times 9. Okay, And 81 is of course 9 square. And this is of the same form as a square minus 2ab plus b square where a is 2c and b is 9. So we have 2c minus 9 square equal to 0 or 2c minus 9 equal to 0. That means 2c minus 9 equal to 0. And then we add 9 on both sides to get 2c equal to 9 and then divide by 2 throughout. So c is equal to 9 by 2 is the answer for part B. Again, we have utilized the formula of cosine of theta. Theta is the angle between the two vectors. When they're parallel, theta is 0. When they're perpendicular, theta is equal to pi by 2. Or when they're orthogonal, theta is equal to pi by 2, which was part A, parallel is part B. I will stop here today. If you have any question, comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you like this video, please share with your friends. And please, you and your friends, subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button on the bottom right corner. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you next time.